Hello fellow photographers and welcome to my first video tutorial where we will dig into the mysteries of the histogram. The reason we want to explore the possibilities of the histogram is to avoid problems like 1. Loss of details 2. Clipping 3. Boring pictures Yes, few people like boring pictures. So I will teach you why your histogram will become your best friend. Let's begin! Now, I've opened this lovely camera raw picture in Lightroom and yes, this is my dog and yes, he looks ridiculous but cute. But what is more important is that there is something wrong with this image. It's looking quite dark. That is a fairly easy issue to deal with. You just raise the exposure a bit, right? Wrong. Well, not wrong, but it can be done better. We just have to look at the histogram. The histogram is right up here, and what we see here is a visual representation of what is going on in our image on average, meaning how much is dark, how much is light, where are the colors located, and how much. In the bottom, we have the darkness, the blacks. This is showing how much of our image is dark or black, and right now it's going pretty high up, and this little arrow is lighting up. The arrow is a warning telling us that we have black in this image, and we don't want black at all. When I say black, I mean pitch black. The blackest of blacks, where no light can escape and no details can be seen. If we hover our mouse over the arrow, the image will show us where the problem is where it is pitch black. The pug's face has a lot of black in it. If we zoom in, we can see the problem here. His fur is disappearing into the shadows. This is called clipping. Now, we can fix this so easily, because in Lightroom, there is a slider called blacks. When you move this up, you can see how the histogram is changing, scooping away from the left wall and you can see how more and more of the fur is being revealed giving us details in the shadow as well we stop when the arrow stops lighting up which gives us the perfect amount of blacks let's see if we can just hit it right there all right good now we move on to the whites and we pretty much just do the same we slide the bar to the right and you can see how the histogram moves to the right as well. And we just want to touch the wall over here. We're going to zoom out here a bit. And yeah, this is looking so much better. You can see how the, the whites are, are looking fine and everything. I'm just going to reset this to, to show you the difference here. Look at how, how much better it is already. And this is just like slave work. You, you don't have to think about this. Uh, it's, this is, of course, just the basics. But... Notice how it's just barely touching here, and it's barely touching here. So, now this is extremely important um, when shooting outdoors, when the sky is visible, as this is often clipping the whites. I'll be talking more about this in an upcoming tutorial. Now, why is this important? Because our eyes loves contrasts. It's almost the only thing it cares about. It likes when an image has the whitest of whites and the blackest of blacks, but also shows us as much detail as possible. When it gets too dark, it becomes flat, boring, void, empty useless space, and we don't like that. That was all for now. If you have any questions or want another subject covered, let me know in the comment section below. If you feel like getting in touch, you can write to me on my blog in the description, where there will be contests, feedback, fun and game. Until next time.